previously on Dragon's Dogma, a noob's playthrough. Chamber of Confusion, how uh, appropriate. Whoa, I played enough Zelda games. I totally know what's going on here. Fantastic, it gives me trophies too. Everything is a Souls game. Oh God, I slipped. Secure you right in your backside. Oh, uh oh, Arse bud. Just gotta hit it with some fire and it explodes. Oh, Wake Stone, Wake Stone, mine. Boss battle. Oh, I recognize you. Yeah, jumping attack. <laughs> My lady's just pickpocketing people. Whee! Oh, that just went splat! Chamber of Sorrow. Hey everyone! How are you all doing today? I am the Perpetual Noob, and finally, after such a long wait, again, welcome back to Dragon's Dogma, a noob's playthrough. We are at the Chamber of Sorrow, and apparently we must be well-stocked in curatives as we continue our rampage through the Everfall. Let's see if I remember how the buttons work. You know, maybe I should just read the bottom of my screen here. What the? Because, you know what? They actually tell me how these... Woo! How the buttons are supposed to work. <laughs> what did I bring for my sword skills? Skewer... Compass slash, heavenward lash. My shields are shield, shield drum, shield storm, and symbol onslaught. Right. Okay. I now completely remember everything about this game and how to use my character. And there are gross worm things coming out of the ground. Well, I guess they said it better. Tendrils. What is in here? It is a dark room. Oh, but a treasure chest. With a giant coin pouch. So it was worth it. Malachris shard. Huh. The tendrils are just dropping those, huh? Okay. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh. Whoa! Anybody anybody else see what, what just happened to the camera? Oh, I didn't kill that one. I was trying to be too fancy timing my button presses and such. Well, more Malachris shards. Why not? Why not? There seem to be several ways to go in here. Oh, treasure chest. Yeah, I don't care about the tentacle. Twilight Greaves. All right, now that sounds cool. Unlike the movie, honestly, or the book series even, because forget either. When you apply the word Twilight to equipment, that just sounds awesome. We'll check them out in a minute here. We've just got some more tendrils to deal with. Okay, now we have dealt with. <laughs> now we have dealt with them. My English, it is so good. I am so good at the words. Let's see, pants. New pants that I cannot wear. Actually, oh, only one person in my party can wear those right now, and I'm not giving those to her because when she goes away and I'll forget to take them off, they'll be gone. Grieves as dark as a moonless night, worn by those who lurk in the shadows of history. Hmm. Sound kind of cool. Notice that there are four assassins and then the rangers. Where does this door take us? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's... Oh, dang it. This is always the problem with multiple paths. You just never know where you should be going, or where to go, or... Which way doesn't progress the story? More tentacles popping up. Where? No, seriously, where, guys? Where? Okay. Wait, why did these things just show up again? Didn't we already kill them? Oh, hi. And those are you get charging up your spells. Okay.
Wait, did one of my teammates actually... Huh. I just had the heal action pop up as my circle, so I was concerned. I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember seeing a teammate go down. Alright, well, we'll continue this way for now, since that doesn't this doesn't seem to be activating a door of any kind. I'm sure more tentacles are going to be popping up here. Ooh, this is a big one. Requires two full... Uh, two full light attack chains. Nope, stop that. Yeah, shut you down, didn't I? That jumping heavy. Jumping heavy. Stop trying to do things, tentacles. Gather. Oh. I was really hoping for skulls. Because as we all know, I still don't have 66. <laughs> still working on that. Still working on that one. So, wow, this chamber is very different from the previous ones we've encountered. Previous ones were just... All right, you entered a door, now walk forward, kill some things, and that's it. Then walk forward some more, kill the boss. Good game. This one, there's a lot of space in here. Jumping heavy. Oh, that spell's totally going to happen. Yep. Bad tentacle. Tendril. Tentacle tendril. Hearthspud milk. Hooray. What's in this little corner? Anything? Anything? No. Unless... Oh, I can jump up here. Does this matter? In the grand scheme of things, it looks like it doesn't. Okay. Well, after that lovely little field trip... Let's just deal with more... Inf These seem to be just infinitely respawning tentacles. And... What did I just notice? I just noticed we're not gaining any XP for it. So why am I bothering to do this? <sighs> it's so pointless. If it ain't worth XP, it ain't worth doing. That's what RPGs teach me. If you're not going to get any XP for it, don't bother. Ooh, a couple of treasure chests. A wake stone shard. And a wake stone. And a golden... Wait, what? Did somebody pick up a golden egg? Cool. Let's hope it doesn't rot. It'll probably rot. We will probably... Probably never use it. And it will just rot. And smell like sulfur. And reek everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, this area is very large very, and very different from the uh, previous areas we, we've we traversed. Oh, more treasure chests. More wake stones. Oh, no more wake stone shards. Fantastic. They are this area's currency. So I am cool with collecting more of them. Oh, another treasure chest. Sage's hood. Coin pouch. Dang it. Where are my skulls? It will not open. Well, alright team, let's go back. Let's, uh, let's head back. So this episode, what's the plan? You know what, it's the 20th episode. There should be something special for it. And you know what's going to be special about it? We are going to finish this Chamber of Sorrows. That'll be the special thing about it. Because originally I was figuring, yeah, we'll go through a couple more chambers. Why not? You know, shouldn't be shouldn't be too difficult. We went through two chambers the last time. Ah, got him on fire. We went through two chambers the last time we were here. So why wouldn't we do it again? Uh, and obviously, little did I know that it's because this chamber is huge. Where are, oh, we're still in the Chamber of Sorrows, okay. Oh, another Beholder. Oh, and it's it's ready to shoot. It's going to fire its lasers. Oh, 
Oh, blinded. Blinded by the light. I'm just swinging like crazy now. I'm just swinging wherever. I will hit something someday. And I'm just watching my health tick down. Ooh, this is a really big poison. Or blind. I cannot see a damn thing. Oh, I hit something. Is this health? What is this? Oh. Haha. <laughs> Just as I was about to finally relent and go into my... Okay, why did I do? Haha. <laughs> Woohoo. That stings. Okay, balmy perfumes it is to save all of us. Where are those interventives? Specifically because I have absolutely no idea what I'm affected with right now. I think one of them is fire. Okay, that cured me of like one thing. Fantastic. Good thing I have so many of these. Well, computer, I'll let you deal with healing everybody else of their status ailments. Ooh, what happened? I guess I... Oh. Here I was thinking I did something useful. Silly. Nope. Just... Just my lady. Raining some crazy... Wait, it died? How did it... How did it just die? I present Exhibit A. High level spells doing massive work on this beholder. Just look at that damage. Evil eyeball. But it... Didn't it just have something like, I don't know, four bars of health left? Did we really... Well, I shouldn't say we. Did my teammates really just take that thing from four bars of health to zip in... I don't know, a second? Half a second? Ooh. I... I am just... I'm stunned. I'm... I am very confused and impressed. It will not open. Of course it won't. There are so many secrets. This whole area is nothing but secrets. Secrets and lies! I, I, I'm still a little, uh... Wow, one... Wow, that fight went a whole lot faster than it appeared to be going. I mean, honestly, I thought that fight was going to take a few more minutes. At least. I mean, at least a few more minutes. But no. No, teammates decided to just say, you know what? F this. Let's just blow it up. Who's got their uh, one-hit KO spell on them? Oh, I do. Bzzz. And then the end. And then the Beholder died. All right, I think we've properly explored this room. Hopefully I'm not missing anything too important. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go out a door we did not the door we did not come in. Let's see where this puts us. So maybe we will get through two chambers. What did I just pick up from that? Oh, the game didn't show me. Right, there's no lock on here. Kill the tendrils. Kill the tentacles. Okay, I'm... I think I'm killing two things here. A Wait, what's a blood decanter? Ah, I'll pick it up and we'll see what it does later. What is that? 
Oh, ho, ho. Soul Skewer just wrecked that poor little goblin's day. Haha, -ha, caught him on the downswing. Couple of treasure chests. Lots and lots of money. Harspud sauce. Rift crystals. Potent green varish. Hey, tentacle. Stop that. Stab, stab. Okay, that took too long. Wait, I thought we destroyed the, the beholder. Why are all these tentacles still showing up? Time to uh time to start spamming some special attacks here, because this has become madness. One, two, three. One. One, two. How did I do that? I was originally following it up with a shield strike. I seem to have forgotten how I pulled that off in the first place. Potent green varish. So somebody else. Oh, nope, there it is. Somebody else want to pick that up? Ah, fine. I will pick it up. Sheesh. More tis no normal goblins. Sorry, little goblin. Totally just wrecked your face. Because I blocked your attack. Wow, these larger tentacles are much stronger. No, symbols. Damn. <laughs> Symbol onslaught just doesn't do enough damage. You know, I may have spoken too soon about uh, getting through this whole area. You know, or getting through two of them in this episode because this is... This place is still really big. Still a lot bigger than I figured. Alright, these tentacles are getting really annoying. Especially with that whole, hey, I'm just gonna, what the? No. Floating eyeballs. No. Go away. That's really creepy. Ooh, and you're dropping wake stone shards. And fairy stones. And Malachris shards. All the more reason to murder, murderize all these tiny little floating eyeballs. Hmm, so many things to gather. And I gather because they could have skulls in them. And I need, what, two more? I think it's two more. Oh good, more interventive so I can Use it to heal one status ailment. You know, rather than like the seven it can actually heal. Wow, look at them rocks. Alright, where does this bring us? More treasure chests, so always a good thing. Oh, it just gives me a balmy incense. I'll take it. Carmine Breaches. Or is that how you spell britches? I don't think so. I think you spell britches with an I. Where does this put us? Okay, more chamber of... Okay, so this puts us where we... Wait, what? Alright, so we've explored there. Hmm. Oh. Couple of things. Haven't examined the sage hood, which obviously yeah, I'd have to pass along to one of my mages, specifically Milady B. A holy hood of purest white. The crown is wrought of stone, mined from the ocean's depths. That sounds kind of cool. Let me give that to Milady B. And Carmine 
bridges. Hmm. Not terrible. They definitely fill out a little better than what I'm current than my my uh, chimeric sabatons. And they're not too far off, even. Wow, actually, yeah. Even just at rank zero, technically, they are actually pretty good. Breaches died a red so deep, some claim it was tainted with the dragon's own blood. I think I'll put those on for now. Even though these are, like, dragon rank and they give me a couple more points and things. The biggest one that I lose is that 18% in whatever debilitation that resistance that is. You know, I go from... 90 to 72 now, but everything else is kind of minor. Ooh, but that does up my strength and magic. Hmm, shit. Hmm, alright, well, we'll try these out for now then. So we all know how much I love maximizing my strength. Okay. You know what's crazy? I actually might look at the map in a moment. Figure out where the hell is the next place we can go. Or did we explore everywhere in the Chamber of Sorrows? Oh yeah. Let me go look at the map. So if I turn right and go this way... Oh, I think I'm going to hit a door that, or an entrance that simply says... It will not open. Well, alright, so that was a nice and uh, pointless tangent, I suppose. Yep, sorry, tentacles, don't care. You don't give me XP. All you do is cause me pain, so that means I don't care. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, please, you, almost, you pretty much never need to revamp your party. Though, I don't know, maybe there are some parties that just don't work. Whoa. Hey. None of that. Whoa. None of that eating. Alright. No eating my party members. That doesn't do anything. That did. Haha, -ha, I interrupted you. Alright. Alright. Let's get back out into the Everfall. Let's head off to the next the next one. That's not the way we want to go. That is also not the way we want to go. I am actually paying attention to the minimap now. Here is the way we wish to go to get back outside. To fall down that endless hole again. Hmm. So, we're getting close. Not exactly there yet on time. So what we might do is we might actually just start the next one. And then we'll we'll see what it's like and then we'll stop. Whoa. This time I'm not going to splat on one of the ledges. <laughs> Unlike how I got to the Chamber of Sorrows. Where I've was actually able to navigate the air well enough and just went <laughs> but now where are we are we because I know we have not completed our quest our quest is the oh man we need nine more awake stones oh hang on well Oh, a lot of debil a lot of debilitation resistances go down. Hmm. And down by a significant amount. All right, so that's a possibility though cuz it does up her defenses and magic defenses still pretty significantly. So we'll see. Anyway, what chamber is this? Chamber of Resolution. We've been here already. You know what? This will be an interesting test then. 
I think we have already been to the chamber, or at least a chamber of resolution. Whoa! Wow, yeah, there's... I definitely remember fighting zombie hordes. But... Are these... Like, is there another... Is there another boss in here? Like, how does this work? I don't care about rusted plate. Yeah, okay, we've definitely been here. The map... We've already got it mapped. Oh! Yeah, I forgot about that. Bye! Bye, fat ones. Right, I can't roll. Kablooey. Where is that boss? I think the boss is this way. Oh, hey, what the? A treasure chest that I had missed? Ooh, and one with a wake stone shard. All right, you guys are dead. You're dead. You're dead. And then here's the boss. How many swings does that take? Seven? <laughs> Seven to clear out that room? This is a good lesson for us. No boss. Okay. Shoot. So we need to try to remember where we've been. We've been sorrow, resolution, confusion. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it's been... Oh, there was... What did we go... What did we fall to before we ended? It was like sleep or something, right? Yeah, yeah, undead warriors, blah, blah, don't care. Don't care, we've already been through here. And yes, even though I did discover another treasure chest containing a wake stone shard. Still don't care, we're gonna move on. Time to move on to the next one. I wonder if it's like, you know, each one. What happened? Whoa! Oh. Whoa, trippy. We, like, must have kind of hit the bottom. So the game's like, okay, now we'll start you at the top again. Cool. Whoa! Yeah, very cool. Very, Hello. very different. Very new. I beseech you. Right. Bring the wake stones here. Yes, we shall do that. Okay. All right. So it's kind of the idea is that the very top. Oh, so this is where we landed, isn't it? Is when we first showed up here, I sh I should say. Do we go this way? Ah. This this will return us to the surface. No way. Huh. So there is another way to leave the Everfall. Beyond using a fairy stone. Wow, we are learning tons of things in this episode. So I'm actually not too upset at kind of hosing up. <laughs> Thought it was going to smash me into the ground again. This isn't too bad that we're, we've kind of taken the extra time to explore and learn. Learn about our wonderful surroundings. Which one is this? And have we been here before? Ooh, we have not. But you know what? It is, it is pretty much time I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tease all of you by just standing right in the door and saying okay we've walked into the door that's game nope nope we are pretty much at time but that means that next time 
Wait, let me check my item burden. Oh yeah, plenty. We've got plenty of space. That does mean that. Oh my God, things to read. Hang on, we are not done yet. Just well yet, I suppose. Evil eyeball, petrified eye of a saurian, used in the crafting of we crafting of weapons and armor. Awesome. Blood decanter, the former property of a grim goblin, used in the crafting of weapons and armor. Ebon blade piece, the former property of a grim goblin, used in the crafting of weapons and armor. Okay, no other new items. All right, now we can officially end this. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all had a good time. I am the Perpetual Noob, and I will see all of you next time.